Hello all, greetings from the University of Texas at Arlington. I am Abhishek and today I am here to present our work on the ER approach for modeling, mapping and analyzing complex data using multi-layer networks. For complex data analysis, we are focusing on three application categories. For example, in case of IMDB, we want to find out the highly rated actor groups who work in similar genres but have never worked together in any movie. For this, we have to analyze the multiple relationships that exist among the same actor entities. For the second category, we present a DBLP scenario. Here, for the most popular collaborators in each conference, we want to find out the most active three-year periods. Over here, the focus is on analyzing the different types of entities like collaborators, conferences, etc. In the third category, we ask questions like, which is the best city to hold conferences of authors in order to maximize the attendance? Here, we have to analyze the author set with respect to collaboration network, friendship network, but also we have to analyze another different entity like cities with respect to the flight routes. But how do we address these kind of problems? In these cases, we are given few application requirements which comprises of the description of the data and objectives. The first step is to find out the perfect data model. The literature here proposes the use of the multi-layer network model as being the ideal choice as it can handle both multiple entities and multiple relationships. The next step is to perform the analysis. The literature here proposes the use of the efficient divide and conquer based decoupling approach in order to get the final results from which we can drill down further to get some deeper insights into the results. The major bottleneck in this entire process is going directly from the requirements to the data modeling. Now, the absence of a systematic approach makes this process difficult, error prone and not extensible. This is where the major contribution of our paper comes in. We propose an ER based eight step novel algorithm which makes the process both precise and unambiguous and also aids in the final drill down process. Here we give a short overview of the data model being used. A multi-layer network is a set of simple graphs corresponding to each layer and a set of bipartite graphs between the layers. Majorly, there are two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. Homogeneous is used to model the interactions among the same set of entities. In this case, the nodes are same in each layer. In case of the heterogeneous MLN, we model the interactions among different sets of entities. Clearly, in this case, the nodes are different in each layer. In this case, we have explicit interlayer edges among the different sets of nodes or entities. Here, we briefly illustrate how different components of an ER model are translated into the different components of the MLN model. We begin with the ER model for the DBLP scenario that we had presented earlier. The first step is to focus on the recursive binary relationships that lead to the generation of the layers in the MLN. For example, the collaborates with relationship will generate the author layer where each author instance of the author entity set will generate the nodes and the relationship that exists between the author instances will generate the intralayer edges. Similarly, we generate the year layer, paper layer and review layer. Next, we focus on the non-recursive binary relationships that will generate the interlayer edges. For example, the active in relationship between the author and the year instances will generate the interlayer edges between the author nodes and the year nodes. We continue and we build the remaining interlayer edges. Next, the relationship name will correspond to the intra or the interlayer edge label and the key attribute will correspond to the node label. All the remaining attributes of the entities and relationships are stored separately as a part of a relation which are used for the drill down process. The cardinality ratios help us calculate the degree information of the generated MLNs. Clearly, we can see that the set of nodes in each of the layers is different, thus generating a heterogeneous multi-layer network. 
Similarly, we can see that for the IMDb scenario, due to the presence of only a recursive binary relationships on just one type of entity, we will generate a homogeneous multilayer network. Going forward, for the author city interaction scenario that we had presented earlier, due to the presence of two recursive relationships on the author entity and also another relationship between the author and the city entity, the type of MLN that is produced is of the hybrid nature. We have used the efficient decoupling based approach in order to analyze MLNs in our case. Here, each of the layers is analyzed separately to generate the partial results using the function psi. This can correspond to communities, hubs or subgroups. Then these layer-wise partial results are combined iteratively using the composition function theta to generate intermediate and eventually the final required results. Using the decoupling approach, now we have to map the objectives into their corresponding MLN expressions. For example, in the IMDB scenario, we have to find out actor groups of certain nature. This corresponds to finding out the communities individually in the knot of acts with layer, the similar genre layer and the similar average rating layer. Once we generate these partial results, we combine them using the boolean and compositions. Similarly, the DBLP scenario and the third scenario will generate different expressions. Here we are showcasing a few sample results from our experiments. We drilled down into the communities obtained from the IMDB MLN expressions and we actually found out a few interesting actor combinations who have worked predominantly in some genres. The movies are highly rated, but they never work together. One such pair is Johnny Depp and Tom Cruise. They have worked in a lot of adventure and action oriented movies. The movies have done well, like the Mission Impossible series, but they have never been cast together. These are a few pairs which can become potential actor collaborations in the future and that production houses can look into. Interestingly, in 2017, Investor Studios was actually in talk with this pair, but that never saw the light of the day. The drill down process in this case has been possible only because we are able to maintain the relations as a part of the EER modeling process. So, through this paper, we have proposed a novel 8-step algorithm for MNN modeling using the EER approach. We have demonstrated its applicability on real-world applications. Currently, this approach is being used for analyzing the spread of COVID-19 across U.S. counties. Thank you. And with that, I would like to take questions from the audience.